Okay, we have here a 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. Customer's concern is that it won't start. He lives about two hours north of Kansas City. So he took this to his local small town mechanic who doesn't normally work on Volkswagens, but he did find a guy who was willing to at least take a look at it. And his mechanics there said that it needed a timing belt. Hint, this is a timing chain engine. But anyway, his local mechanic didn't want to work on it because it was a Volkswagen, probably took special tools and stuff. So he started calling around and he found me. So he towed it the two hours plus to me and that was expensive. He asked for a timing belt, of course, but I told him it was a timing chain engine and so he wants me to do a timing chain on it. Now the question is, did the piston smack the valves or not? Now I haven't turned the key on this yet. I was gonna uh, scan it first, but I do need to raise the hood and verify that it is a CCT engine. Seven faults found. Zero 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 twenty two bank one cam position sensor G forty engine speed sensor G twenty eight P O O one six incorrect correlation. That's what I was expecting to find. And idle control system RPM lower than expected. Um, maybe it has a previous problem that was going on before this timing chain problem, like a. Valve cover, intake manifold. Did I say valve cover? I mean crankcase vent valve, valve cover, engine rear main seal, one of those types of issues that causes a vacuum leak. Random misfire, that'd be consistent with that same thing. Misfire number two, that'd be consistent. Misfire number four, misfire number one. So basically, misfire codes for all cylinders. So, or maybe the timing chain moved one slipped one tooth because these will continue to run after it slips one tooth it will trigger that first cam position sensor incorrect correlation code when it slips one tooth but the customer continues driving it because the check engine light came on and it's just a sensor and then uh, after it slips farther than that it bangs the valves and stops running so anyway it may have a pre-existing condition before this cam chain problem so let's turn the key and see what happens I think I'll save these codes and then uh, see what reoccurs while I crank it okay so I've saved the codes I, I'm not going to record saving the codes so no codes present now let's try and start this thing Okay, it kind of acts like it wants to start. In order to do a relative compression test by ear, you have to disable starting some way. So I'm gonna go underneath the hood and unplug the coils. Lock tab broken, lock tab broken. This one's not broken. And this one's not broken. I don't know how I'm going to unplug that one without a scribe. I'll have to go get a tool. Okay, obviously with these coils unplugged, it's probably going to trigger coil trouble codes but we saved the original trouble code so we know what's going on there all right we unplug those so that we can listen to the compression to see if it's irregular if it's irregular for sure the valves have been hit and of course the battery's so weak I'm not sure I'm trusting my results here I'll go get a boost box on the battery Okay, boost box mounted. Let's see what happens here. Seems relatively regular. 
That may just mean there's bent valves on every cylinder though. I guess we're going to have to do more checks. I have decided to pull the coils and spark plugs out in order to use a boroscope to look inside for, uh, for marks on the piston indicating the pistons have smacked the valves. I don't see any brand name on these last two coils. Most likely they've been replaced with some aftermarket jobbies. I'm not a fan of aftermarket coils on Volkswagens. As a matter of fact, I would probably never install them on a customer's car, nor one of my own. In a pinch, if customers broke down and had to have their car, I might put an aftermarket one in. Plugs are really, really the plugs are really, really carboned up. Maybe the problem's just the plugs are fouled, you think? Is this plug loose? I don't understand what's going on there. Chunks of stuff down in there where the socket ain't going on to the spark plug. Give me a big old hammer. There it goes. Yeah, I think. I'm changing my diagnosis on this one. We're just going to put spark plugs in it. That's going to fix it. Not. The design of these, you can see the pistons really well. You can't see everywhere inside the piston. I have this crappy Bosch boroscope. I had a much better one and it got damaged in use. And I had to have one on the spot, so I just bought the one that O'Reilly Auto Parts had. So I so this is what I got right now. Had trouble making the decision to buy one of those big expensive articulating ones that turn. Okay, this is really difficult to get a good look at it with the camera, but right here, you can see there's carbon knocked off the piston, and that's what I'm seeing in on several of the piston pistons in four locations, like right there, right here, which would be off the screen, right here, and right here. There's carbon knocked off the piston in all four of those locations, which means the four valves per cylinder have smacked the uh, pistons. So most likely this is, so it's pretty definite this is going to need to come out. I'm going to try and get you a better picture. Okay, here's the best view I've got so far. You can see there the crescent moon of the shape of the valve that has smacked it and a, a bare spot in the piston where the carbon's been knocked off. Uh, that round crescent moon part is the shape of the valve where it indented into the piston and of course it knocked the carbon off in the meantime. I'm finding marks like that on every piston so unfortunately this guy's going to need major engine work. This is still a very nice vehicle. Definitely be worth fixing. And uh, I kind of gave him a ballpark figure on what a head removal would be. We've done quite a few of these. That Volkswagen CC there, three cars down, is here for the same work. It's mostly completed. Just had to pull off of it do some other stuff. 
Well, I don't know whether the customer okay this or not. If he does, we'll add, take some more video and let you know. Okay, I made a nice video for diagnosing a Tiguan with no start condition, with no compression. And I got busy and I didn't do any more videoing on the car. But I can tell you this, the customer okayed us pulling the head. Then we, when we pulled the head, we did find all the intake valves bent and one exhaust valve bent. The head went to the machine shop. There was definite marks on the piston. Really wish I would have showed all this in video. It would have made for a much nicer video. It would have made a much nicer video if I'd have videoed the witness marks on the piston and the bent valves on the head. Maybe the some video of the new head once it, or the rebuilt head once it came back from the machine shop. And uh, should have got some video of the engine running. We did find that one of the coils was bad. It was one of those aftermarket coils that were uh, uh, installed in that car. And uh, we did have to replace one of the coils after we finished up with it. But the car is done and running. You know, uh, my primary job here is running a shop and getting the customer's cars done. Sometimes the customers are putting pressure on us and, uh, and sometimes we are slow in getting the cars back to the customers. So I can't take the time to, to make that video. But uh, I did want to at least post the diagnosis of this car. And I do want to say if you own one of these cars, you need to be changing that timing chain and tensioner uh, on the Volkswagen 2-liter TSI with the CCT. You need to change that timing chain and tensioner at 100,000 miles. No questions asked, just like it's a timing belt interval. Um, because that thing, when it breaks, it's just too expensive. And if you appreciate the time I spend video on this stuff and want to donate to the continued production of these videos, visit my website at www.kansascitytdi.com. And if you want to watch an interesting TDI video, click that link right there. Um, here's another video that YouTube is going to recommend for you. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. Put any questions you have down in the comments. Hello, m folks. This is my face. Don't touch your nose during the coronavirus. You will